help with the local brown impact. My name is Alison Wright. We meet at St. Swithin's Church Hall every Thursday night. I teach the kids about kindness and doing a good turn, plus a uh, self-reliance and being prepared, which are useful things to learn. Every year we go camping in various beauty spots. The brownies get very excited, they spend ages practicing knots. I naturally get parental consent for our annual jamboree. But this year, it suddenly struck me. I should phone the HSE. HSE? Health and Safety Executive. They explained it clearly to me. I hadn't had relevant training. The parents might very well sue me. And what if it never stopped raining? Thank heavens for health and safety. They pointed out the flaws. The myriad risks to life and limb when kids are out of doors. The book of regulations forced me to explore. All those hidden dangers which I'd never seen before. A child could skewer themselves with a tent peg, choke to death on a sausage, Burn to a crisp on the campfire, sever their leg on a tripwire, suffocate in a mine shaft, poison themselves with hemlock, picnic on a wasp's nest, or plummet down much wedlock. Seek to a peat bog, contract TB from badgers, be stricken with catatonia after sighting of the ledger's natures. Well, thank heavens for health and safety, I needed their advice. They sent me out a flowchart, which was wonderfully precise. The site-specific hazards didn't worry me unduly. But there's more to a camping holiday than singing Gingangooly. A child could Somersault into a baler, develop a case of the lockjaw, drown in a pile of slurry, be horribly gored by a wild boar, stump their tail on a rucksack, lose their mobile phone case, be scored for life by failing to win the egg and spoon race, trap their foot in a barrow, hitch a lift at the station, suffer the indignity of early menstrual wind. Oh, thank heavens for health and safety. I cancelled the trip which brought peace to me. And we spent the week sitting quietly doing a project on obesity. Oh, the girls do love being brownies. We do have a wonderful time. And every year for a seasonal treat, we go to the pantomime. But because of the fact that our camping trip had to be aborted, a dynamic risk assessment was essential for things to be sorted. So I went alone to the theatre and from my seat in Roger, I performed a detailed inspection and everything seemed okay. I made careful note of the exits and I planned for emergencies. And then just as a precaution, I phoned the HSE. HSE. Health and Safety Executive. They implied I wasn't realistic. I'd taken leave of my senses. Did I want to become a statistic? Had I pondered the consequences? Well, thank heavens for health and safety. They brought me face to face with all the perilous pitfalls that are in a public place. They made me aware of the hazards in any theatre or Apart from the obvious madness of travelling there at all. A child could die in the rush 
for the ice cream, cut themselves on a program, pick offense at the mention of Christmas and their followers of Islam, find the confusion of gender brings on emotional trauma, get kidnapped by the Chechens or spat on by a performer, be hauled on stage to sing a duet with little Jimmy Cranky, then smothered to death in the underskirts of Christopher Biggins Twerky. all from a truly horrible fate. I knew I had to do something to assuage the girl's regret. So we spent the night with a tube of loop putting condoms on courgettes. Oh, I take the brownie swimming. Well, I have done in the past. But after phoning the HSE, frankly, I couldn't be asked. 